Hello and welcome to the Lost Library and a new episode from Pillars of Eternity. Well, I'm feeling pretty good about myself right now, feeling pretty good about the party. We just came from the Temple of Aethas and we managed to defeat those two Skulder kings with their Skulders and Skulder whelps as escorts and more importantly managed to come back with some very interesting items but oh and also too I am feeling good about the fact that I was a Loth managed to disarm that trap that was on the sarcophagus in the second level of the temple and found a real interesting item there too so we have some new new loot that we're going to be taking to the Blackhound Inn and you can see here Durance is complaining a little bit as is a deer both of them are looking for a little bit of rest so they took uh, took uh, took some damage in those last two fights uh, with especially with the Skulder Kings you can see Durance's health is just a little bit down not feeling totally up to speed so we're gonna head off to the Blackhound Inn we're gonna have a rest and then we're going to make our way probably to the quest from the smithery, from the blacksmith. So let's make our way to the Blackhound Inn. And we do. And let's go back in. It's good to be back into the safety of the Blackhound Inn. What time is it? Oh, it's hour five. Yeah, you know what? It's it's pretty. It's late or early, however you want to look at it. So we're gonna talk to Pasca. Good day, stranger. And Pasca, we're gonna hopefully. Uh, what do you think? Can we see what you have for sale? Because. I'm really hoping you brought in some camping supplies here. Yeah, I know you're still running short, but you know, we need those camping supplies. Do you have them? It doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like you have them. Okay, well, what we'll do is I guess we're going to take a, take a room and we're going to take a common room for the night. Let's rest. All right, so it's now hour 13. I think what we'll do before we leave is we're going to take a look at our inventory and probably sell some items to Pasca. And we'll be right back. Well, as it turns out, we're not going to sell anything after all. We're going to hang on to everything we have. And we are going to make our way out. And we're probably before we go to take on that quest from the blacksmith, we're going to go back to Anslog's Compass. And the reason why I'm feeling, about, feeling it's a good idea to go back there is I'll tell you why. Let's go road south right here. And the reason why we're going to do this is because we need camping supplies. I mean, we don't have any camping supplies here at all. And Aloth mentioned, he says, you know, we didn't even talk to Ranga. We just took the potion and left. We should have talked a little bit more to Ranga. Maybe she had some camping supplies for sale. And did we in explore the entire area of Anslog's Compass? We're not sure. So we're going to head... Okay, before we do that, though, we're going to make sure everybody is armed. We're leaving the town of Gilded Vale. Okay, so... Everybody has their weapon sets ready to go. A deer, you're going to take your fine sword. 
and your large shield. And Tane, you're going to go with your flail. And I think you're going to now switch this bow. And you're going to go with this crossbow. Yeah. Just look at the damage that thing does. It's 23 to 33 versus the damage here, which is 11 to 17. So we're going to go with the crossbow, even though it's slow. Okay, and how about how are we for uh, quick items? Yeah, let's let's do some more quick items here as well. Loth, I want you to carry that trap and a deer. Have that spirit ready to go. We know you like that. And Tane, a bottle of milk would be good for you. Endurance, you've got beer, milk, and how about some fruit? There you go. Let's go. Anslog's compass. I think that's about a 10 hour, yeah, 10 hour journey. Okay, let's take a quick look at the map. So we pretty much, yeah, okay, we didn't go through here, but I don't think there's anything missing there. But what's over here? The dial. Well, never really checked that out, and we never really checked this out either, the sea cave. But before we go anywhere, let's go right here and talk to Ranga. It's a little late to be visiting her. Hopefully she's still up. Oh, oh, she is. Okay, good. We're okay. Let's have another talk with Ranga here. Hail and well met. Okay. Could I see your wares, Ranga? You know, we rushed off last time. And... Would you mind... Let's just see what you have here for goods. Oh, look at this. You have two camping supplies. You know what we're going to do? We're going to take both of those. What else do you have might come in handy for us here? You have more pine potions of minor endurance, but they're 420. They're not cheap, are they? You have a stew, a good stew. What does that do? Maximum endurance, dexterity, and perception. Ah, that looks good. I think we're going to take some stew from you as well. What's this? That's 112 copper pieces. It's a little much. Okay, we're going to take uh, camping supplies and stew. Thank you. And what else do you have here? Since we're here, do you mind if we rest? Let's keep you. Do you mind us sharing your camp? After all you've done for me, you are quite welcome. Get some sleep by the fire, and I will keep an eye on the tide. Would you like to rest for eight hours? Yes. Wow, look at that. We had a good sleep. We're ready to go. Let's continue. Frank has been very good to us, actually. Very good. Thanks, Ranga. We're on our way. And we're going to just check out. I don't think we looked at this dial close enough. Let's go back there. And let's be careful because we don't know. I don't know if we cleared that entire area out either. Did we go here? Oh, maybe we did. Hmm. 
This is where we met those gulls. We had quite the fight with these gulls. Now, if we take a look, a quick look here at this letter we found, Fulvano's letter. But maybe there's something in here. Okay, it's a, he's talking about a grand journey. People of Deerwood call this pitiful lagoon a sight to see, but all I've experienced here is misfortune. I thought to explore the cavern by the waters, only to discover it was home to sporlings. Okay, we know about those sporlings. We've been in that sea cave already. There's still some dank spores there, which we're probably going to leave alone. He then uh, says, I went to see the vaunted compass. What is the vaunted compass? And lost the bulk of my letters when I tripped over some driftwood. And at last I made to inspect the dragon skulls nearby, only to be menaced by some foolish little zorops. And that's when he was taken out by the Zorops. But that was the Zorop champion. And that was not an easy fight. I would say there's a little bit more in here. What's that vaunted compass? Okay, let's check this out first. At the center of the ring of jagged stone, this boulder casts long shadows across the sand as the sun, oh, moves overhead. Is that it? I think we checked all this out, didn't we? No, we did not. What's this? Oh, maybe it's nothing. Oh, yeah, no, it's just weapons. We didn't bother with them. I don't think we would have missed that. No. Okay. There's nothing else. Nothing else for us here. Can we get in behind there? I don't think so. We checked everything out there. Let's just head there. You never know. And there isn't anything here. No. Nope. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to take a quick look at our journal. No, the, the Smith's shipment. That's what's next. Now, Tuatano has asked me to seek out one of the Black Hammer Smithery supply wagons which was expected to arrive in Gilded Vale several days ago. Now, that was day five. Uh, he suggested I might find some trace of it within the Black Meadow, which lies to the southeast of Gilded Vale. Southeast of Gilded Vale. Okay, well, we are now, we're here. Gilded Vale, so southeast. It's got to be in here. So let's go back up to Magrin's Fork and then head east. Okay, back to Magrin's Fork. Okay, and... Uh, let's see. Can we not get there from here? No, oh, no, right here we should be able to get... Yes, let's go here. Ah, 
Ah, the Black Meadow. Let's go. Oh, it's only four hours away. Well, at least the weather's a little better. Okay, we have an update here, quest update. And it says here, track down the shipment. Okay, day 21. Ooh. I've arrived in the Black Meadow. Tuatanu had much to say on the dangers of this place, which teems with animals and outlaws alike. Searching along the roads may provide some sign of the wagon's fate or even the shipment itself. Okay. So outlaws, we have to look out for outlaws and animals. Let's take a look at the map. Okay, where are we going here? Should we stay on the road this time? Or should we... Well, let's go into... Whoops. Okay. We're in scouting. Let's go. Guys, I don't think it's a good idea to stay on the road. Oh, what is this in front of us here? A forest troll. Okay. Okay. A deer. Why don't you move up? Take a shot on that thing. Tane, why don't you try that new crossbow out? Do the same thing. Meanwhile, what I'm going to do... It's a forest troll. I don't think I'm going to get two... There's only one. I think I'm just going to hold back a little bit and probably... Come in with my arcane assault. But let's see how it goes first. Hmm. A deer, what are you doing? Did you have to get that close? To take the shot? It's only, uh, why are you moving in? Oh, look at this. Tane, nice shot. Looks like you hit him. He felt that, didn't he? A deer, what are you doing? Oh, good shot. Okay, now a deer. Can you hold can you hold that front line for us? Oh. Look at this thing. Look at the size of this thing. A deer. Are you okay? Look at the size of this thing. Okay, lost. It is. I'm going to cast my arcane assault right away. Oh, look at that. One. Oh, the trolls back up. He keeps keeping getting back up. You see that? Is he down for good? A deer kills the forest troll for good. Okay. A deer, nice shot. Nice swing. Nice, nice one. Way to go. Let's pick up that, what we have here. What do we have? What is that? Troll skin. We'll take it. Okay, let's keep going. Yeah, I was going to say, guys, I don't think I want to stay on the road here. Don't think I want to stay on the road. Hey, get back. Make sure we're, we're sneaking in. Oh, what is this? What in the heck is this? Is that a dragon? 
Oh, wow, look at that. And the black metal. Oh, yes, there's something here. Durance, what, what do you have there? What'd you find? Oh, nice. We could use that garnet. I think that's worth about 50 copper pieces. No, 85 copper pieces. Nice. Primal flame, what is that? It's worth 14 copper pieces. We'll take it all. Nice one, Durrance. Another forest troll. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Right there. It hasn't seen us yet. Okay, same strategy. Same thing. Yeah. Arcane Assault again. Seems to be working. Do it again. Another Arcane Assault on this force stroll. This force stroll's feeling it. He's injured. Badly injured. Force trolls down. It's near death. He's getting back up. And a deer hits the force troll. Oh, you slashed him good there and killed him. Nice one, a deer. Nice one. Let's see some more troll skin here. Yes. What does that do for us? It's the hide of a troll is formed of what appears to be several layers of thin vines, plants, and mulch, forming a thick, nearly impenetrable skin. Excellent. Take that. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, let's see, should we go? Yeah, let's continue where we are here. Let's go in this direction. Let's stay off Certainly. the main road. What's that? What is that? Blood moss. We'll take it. Can't go in here? No? Okay. Oh, listen. You hear that? That wasn't us. Heard something there. Where was it coming from? Is it coming from over here? Guys, careful. Careful. This looks like an opening here. Just Let's just have a quick look at the map. Okay. All we're here for, remember, we're just here to find those missing goods. Don't need to do anything else. Okay, something's going on here. Okay, the wagon's going to be obviously on the trail, but let's just stay off that road. Oh, what's that? Oh, 
Uh oh, another forest. Oh, what is this? A forest lurker. Ooh, okay. Uh, let's see here. This is a little different. This is a little different. Can we just sneak in and pick? What is that? This looks like some mushrooms. Let's just keep going for that. Tane, can you grab those without them seeing you? Okay, you did. Okay. Do we want to take that on? Look at that thing. I don't know. I don't think so. Let's keep going. We're looking for that wagon. That's why we're here, guys. Remember that. Oh, listen. That's not us. That's someone else. Listen. Oh, look at this. Okay, we've got something here. We've got something here. It... Oh, look at this. There he is. There's somebody right there. A scavenger, a deer. Can you get up there? Quietly. I don't think he sees us. Yeah. Okay. The deer move in a little more. fire on him. Quiet, a deer. Careful. Get him! We'll add gear to his pile. Oh, look at this. We found how many bandits here? One, two, three, four, five, six bandits. Oh, wow. Okay, okay, okay. This is different. Uh, let's see. Uh, lost is going to not do anything right now. First thing I'm casting is, I think I'm gonna cast Chill Fog as soon as I can. Let's go. Yes. Got him. Oh yeah, okay, good. Looks like Tane interrupted this scavenger who looks to have magic power. Okay, lost. Mm, let's see here. All right. Let's change to change weapons here. All right, let's go. A loth interrupts the bandit leader. Oh, it looks like a deer knocks down the scavenger. He actually kills the scavenger. A deer kills the scavenger. Good job, a deer. And Tane's firing that magic crossbow with effectiveness, too. Oh, yeah. Here comes this outlaw charging our wizards. But Durance is there standing, standing strong, and he's standing in front of a loth. 
It looks like a deer should be able to take care of this guy one-on-one, -on -one, no problem. Meanwhile, lost, it's time for you. Take out this bandit right here, or take out this guy right here. Well, that was lost right there, okay. Do it again with your arcane assault. These archers are becoming a problem. I'm going to rush up. And I'm going to cast my chill fog on this archer right here. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Do it again. Finish him off. Oh yeah, Lost just killed the bandit with his necrotic lance. It's all over. Watch it with that. Yeah, sorry about that, Adir. Didn't mean to do that on purpose. Oh, look what we have here. We have a crossbow, which we don't need. A hunting bow, which we don't need. Leather armor. No leather armor. We have a hood. We have cocoa. We'll definitely take that. Silver. And we have copper. So let's take this. Let's take this and this. That's a hood. Doesn't do anything. Is there any value to it? Yeah, 10 copper. Let's take it for 10 copper pieces. We'll take the armor for the value. Sell all of that. Pasca. What's that bow worth? It's worth another 10 copper pieces. We can take it as well. What's this crossbow? 10 copper pieces. We'll take it too. No problem. Oh, 87 copper pieces. That's more like it. We'll grab that. And what do we have here? Greasy chicken bones rattle around the bottom of this crate. Oh, this might be this might be what we're looking for here. A tattered note. Right click for the details. I need you to deliver our hall for Kerned to sell. He will not speak to you unless you know the words. Y C Nibion Ilfodion. He's only found in the gift after dark. Okay, we'll take that. What's this? Right click. This battered and heavy crate has been pried open at one corner, but its contents remain within. There is a painted hammer and anvil on the side of it, alongside the words, Black Hammer Smithery. Excellent. We will grab that as well. The Smith's shipment. We have a quest update. Let's take a look at it. So we need to return to Tuatanu. Tuatanu's fears were well-founded. I found the Black Hammer shipment in the possession of a group of bandits haunting the northern edge of the meadow. It seems likely that Tuatanu's workers have met an untimely end. All that remains is to return the shipment and claim my reward. And we are going to do that. But what's in this barrel over here first? Oh! Some goodies, some more copper, some more agates. What's this? Potion of Wizards Double. We don't know what that is, so we'll put that right here. And actually, no, it can go in here. Why not? No, I guess it won't go in the stash. Okay, we'll put it there. 
This will definitely take the oil. There's two oil. Oh, what's this? Ale. Oh, plus two damage reduction for 150 seconds. We'll take that too. Excellent. That should do it. That should do everything. I don't think there's anything else around here, is there? Oh, what do we have on these guys? A lot of weapons. Oh, and we have some money and we'll take that. And what's that? Karen Gollan, what is that? Carol Gollan. Made from a sacred and uncommon plant that grows deep in Ear Glanfoth. Carol Gollan is the name given to a mixture typically used solely for ceremonial purposes or else by warriors going into important battles. It is said to open one's awareness to one's place in the world, raising one's ability to recognize and react to threats. We'll take that. What is this? Dear Wooden Clothing. It's worth 20 copper pieces, so we'll grab that as well. And this is hide armor, and this is leather armor. Okay, we're going to be carrying quite a bit back, but we're going straight back to Gilded Vale. We don't need any more of these weapons. How much are they, though? Five copper pieces. How much are these axes? Five copper pieces. Oh, we could take them, though. Let's grab them all. And what does this guy have on him? This is the outlaw. He's got 12 copper and looks like he's got male armor. We'll take that too. That's worth something. It's worth 40 copper pieces. Let's take it. Okay, there we go. Well, we finished the quest for the blacksmith in Gilded Vale. And this is a good spot to end this, this adventure. Next adventure, we will be inside Gilded Vale and probably going to... I don't think we're going to go after the Lord Raedric's castle just yet, but there's about three or four more quests that we're going to look at, and that's what we'll be doing. Thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying it, and if you are, please hit that like button. If you're not subscribing, please do so, as it helps our channel, and it's just a lot more fun to have you along with us. Thank you again, and we'll see you soon.